I'm not a good one, I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super strength. Now, muscles are super. They do everything from helping blood flow around our bodies to helping us to lift up our backpack. Have you ever wondered what your muscles are made of? Have a feel. Is it soft or is it hard? What about when you try to make it strong? Ooh, is it soft or is it hard? Our muscles are made up of tens of thousands of tiny stretchy fibers. Not quite nano, but close enough. Muscles attach to our bones and when we use them, they give us strength by either shortening or lengthening these muscle fibers. We can build strength by having more muscle fibers. To make more, we need to exercise in a way that works these muscles. Then our bodies can form more and help us to make the activity easier next time we do it. For example, if we wanted to lift something really heavy, it would be easier if we had more muscle fibers and then we could spread the weight over more fibers. That's why training for sports is so important as every time you do, you are helping your body to build more and more muscles to make it easier next time. As scientists, when we want to measure force, we use something called a Newton meter. It works by hanging a weight from something stretchy, like a spring, and then measuring how far the spring stretches. We could build our own Newton meter to help us see how the muscle fibers in our bodies work. Let's do that. For this experiment, you will need a box, like a tissue box, a shoe box, or a cereal box, four skewers, five elastic bands, something heavy, I've got a rock, a ruler, tape, scissors, a paper clip, a pencil, and a pen. You might also want a notebook to write down the results of your experiments into. So you can start by decorating your box. I've made mine purple. On one of the large faces, measure three centimeters down from the top and mark and draw a horizontal line. Now do the same at the bottom. Now measure two centimeters in from the left and two centimeters in from the right and draw lines down there. You would have made a rectangle shape here in the middle. We want to cut that rectangle out using our scissors. You might need an adult to help you with this one. There we go. Now down one side of the window, we need to make a scale. So we're going to measure the amount of stretch that our elastic will have. My scale is going to be one centimeter. Measure one centimeter down and make a mark and do that all the way down the side, like so. And then you want to number them. One, two, three. There we are. Next, we want to put a skewer through the box. So on the side of the box, measure four centimeters down from the top and four centimeters in from the front and make a mark. Do this on the other side. Let's take your skewer, push it through your mark on one side. Okay, so there's one hole. We're gonna poke one on the other side where our mark was. Perfect. Now, you're gonna take four of your rubber bands, push the screw through one hole, put your rubber bands through the skewer and then poke the skewer out of the other side like this. So you're gonna end up with your four rubber bands hanging down and your skewers on the end here. Now I'm gonna trim the ends of the skewers off by scoring and snapping. There we go. Okay, now to make it a little bit easier to read our scale, we're going to make a guide. Take three skewers and measure them to be a little bit longer than your viewing window. Let's measure that. Mine are probably gonna be 18 centimeters long. So we're gonna score them and cut them all to be the same length. Next, you're going to lay one skewer across the window, like so, and the other two are gonna go over either side of the window, like this. You're gonna take them in place. Now be careful, don't take the cross skewer to make sure that it can still move freely. Now with your second skewer, make sure you tape it outside your numbers so you can still read your scale. Now you can see that you can move this up and down to record where your measurement is. Okay, that's it. This is our Newton meter. Now we need to find something heavy to weigh. I have a rock. And we're gonna tie an elastic band around our rock to make it easier to lift. Next, we're gonna need to hook it on with something. We've got a paper clip. So you're gonna unfold the paper clip like this so it makes a hook. Then put that underneath your rubber bands, like 
so and follow it around so it goes into the center like this. Now we have the hook. So don't put the weight in the box for now. We need to start off with a baseline. So we're going to stand the box on its end here. And we're going to look at the box and move the cross skewer in line with the bottom of the elastic band. So our elastic bands are here, like this. Let's have a look what that number says. Mine says four and a half. Okay, if you have a notebook, write down four and a half in your notebook so you can remember where your baseline is. So with no weight, it's four and a half centimeters. Now we're gonna hang our weight from just one elastic band and we're gonna see how far it stretches. So one elastic band and let it stretch. Look at that. Now with your skewer, measure down the line to where the end of your rubber band is. You can see that that is 10. So I can see with one elastic band, the weight stretches my elastic band to 10 centimeters from four and a half centimeters. Okay, now to see if extra muscle fibers or extra elastic bands help us. So we know that we're at 10 centimeters stretch with one elastic band. What do you think is gonna happen when we stretch it on to two elastic bands? So I'm gonna lift this up. And I'll hook on another elastic band. Do you think it's going to stretch the same amount or less? Let's have a look. Here we go. You can see it's moved up, so it's less stretch. It's moved up to about eight centimeters. So eight centimeters for two. I can think about three. Let's have a look. Going to move it up. Hook onto number three. And is it more or less? You can see it's definitely less. We are now at seven centimeters. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Is adding a fine elastic band gonna make it move up even more? Make it easier to lift this rock? Here we go. Four rubber bands going on. Da -da -da. Look, it's moved up even further by a little bit, and now we are at six and a half centimeters. Huh. What you will see is that as we add more elastic bands, they all stretch a little bit less because they're having to carry less load. This is what happens with our muscles. As we add more muscle fibers, we get stronger and we can lift things more easily. Hold on, Nana Nana Girl has a question. What, you want me to increase the size of your nano muscles? Ah, oh, lucky for you, I have a little weight training set that you can work out with. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, you just have to lift it up and down and up and down like this. Ready? Go. What do you mean you can't train when nobody's watching you? All right, I'll leave her in peace. See you later. Bye.